geothermal energy, a clean and renewable energy source, originating from the Greek words geo, meaning earth, and thermal, meaning heat. Geothermal power is that which is generated by heat stored beneath the Earth's surface. Here, we take a closer look at the operations of Polaris Geothermal, a Canadian TSX-listed company focused on the development of renewable energy projects in Latin America. Polaris Geothermal Inc. is a company that was created at the end, uh, very end of night, 2003. And in the early part of 2004, we made application to be listed on the venture exchange of the Toronto Stock Exchange and were successful. The company started trading its shares on the venture exchange uh, August the 30th, 2004. And later on, in 2006, as a producer by that time, we were invited to join the main board of the Toronto Stock Exchange, where we are now. The company's holdings at the present time are very much dedicated to Nicaragua where we have uh, very large concessions that we hold, one of which is a, a producer at the present time of um, approximately 8 megawatts of power, which uh, is uh, enough power in Nicaragua to supply approximately 15,000 homes. We are going to um, be expanding. Uh, we have uh, enough power identified, enough geothermal resources identified that we think we can move up to uh, well over 200 megawatts and, uh, in fact, up to over 300 megawatts. The exploration that we carried out is largely what you'd classify as geochemical and geophysical. Geophysical in the form of magnetotelluric surveys. That's um, perhaps the equivalent to what you would know of in the oil industry as seismic. And this allows us to identify the perimeter and the area covered by our reservoirs. We completed this work and our experts then provided us with conclusions that we had at our disposal uh, 340 megawatts at a 90 percent probability. Our main objective right now is to satisfy all requirements in the country of Nicaragua. But we will be producing more than can be consumed here locally and consequently we plan to sell into CPAC, which is a large backbone grid that runs from Guatemala through Panama. Uh, geothermal energy, first of all, is baseload, uh, which means that it can be relied upon to deliver constant energy 24-7. Uh, it isn't um, a source of energy that depletes in the sense that an oil well depletes and that is why uh, people refer to it as a renewable sustainable energy. Um, unlike wind energy, uh, geothermal is much more efficient. Uh, uh, what we're talking about, a difference of wind being at 25% efficiency and geothermal being at 98% efficiency. So those factors um, are very appealing for any um, investor or uh, investment funds that need a long-term, reliable, sustainable income stream. Geothermal forms a very compelling reason for investors to invest in this type of uh, recoverable energy. So what then exactly is geothermal energy? And how is this energy from below the Earth's surface turned into electrical power? We catch up with Jim Randall, Polaris's project manager and VP of operations. Geothermal energy is renewable energy from inside the Earth. What comes out of the ground from the production wells is a mixture of steam and water. Deep in the ground, there's a water system, a water course, uh, perhaps a thousand meters deep, where the pressure is sufficient to keep that water from boiling. As it comes up the well, the pressure reduces, it, part of it changes into steam. So what comes out of the top of the well is a mixture of steam and water. Some resources in the world are very lucky, they only have steam. We've got steam and water, which is the most common. We take that mixture to a separator, where the uh, mixture flows into a cylindrical vessel and spins around. The steam rises, the water goes to the bottom, we take the steam up to a turbine, and it's a very conventional steam turbine, uh, much the same as would be found in any other power station, any other thermal power station. And the water is pumped away and re-injected back into the ground in separate wells around the edge of the field. The best resources occur where we've got volcanic chains 
Um, and those chains are where there's tectonic action pushing a, an ocean plate underneath a continental plate, such as we've got in Nicaragua, and in a lot of places around the Pacific Rim. Um, those resources are good, hot, uh, very energetic resources. The benefits of geothermal are that it's renewable, uh, it's clean, um, we don't pollute the environment at all, there is no uh, fluid discharge uh, to the surface because we re-inject the water that comes with the steam and the amount of gas that comes with the steam is very small indeed so we're saving uh, greenhouse gas discharges. The additional benefit for a country like Nicaragua is that it removes the dependency on imported oil and very volatile oil prices. Um, it's been difficult in the past to fully recognize that value but with the um, advent of carbon credits it brings geothermal into its, what I think is its rightful place in the world energy scene.